Hi loves, it's Emmeline. I know it's been so long since I did a baking video, so I thought I would treat you guys to one for this week's video. I know a lot of you guys used to love these videos because they would help to calm you and relax you, and I always get, would get told that you guys would fall asleep to these, so hopefully this video will relax you, or if you guys are interested in trying out this recipe, I hope you guys try it out and love it. So this week's recipe is super yummy and super delicious. It also has an adorable name. It's called the Southern Belle Coconut Cake, and it's coming from this adorable recipe book, which is called Enjoy Good Eating Every Day, The Easy Spry Way by Aunt Jenny, and this is from 1949. It is such an adorable book, so I decided to go with this one because my family loves coconut cake and it just sounded super delicious. So if you wanna see me bake this cake, then just keep watching. The first step is to preheat the oven to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. So here I have a large bowl and I'm gonna add two and a quarter cups of cake flour. So I just use normal flour, but if you wanna use cake flour, go ahead. Next, I'm gonna be adding in one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Once the sugar is added, I'm going to be adding in 4 teaspoons of baking powder. Lastly, I'm gonna add in one teaspoon of salt, and I thought I'd show you guys my adorable friends that like to watch me bake. Every time I bake or cook, these adorable deer are just right outside the window. Wilbur is so infatuated with them. He loves them so much. I haven't come up with a name for the male yet, but the girl's name is Dolly, and there's two little babies. They are so precious. But anyway, now I am taking a smaller bowl and adding a sifter in it, and I'm just going to take all of those dry ingredients we just made up, and I'm gonna add it into the sifter and then we are going to sift these ingredients. That way everything is mixed in well and smooth and there's no clumps. So I'm gonna take that small bowl and replace it with the large bowl we originally had and just pour all the dry ingredients back into there. That way we can mix the rest of the ingredients in. So now what I'm doing is adding in half a cup of spry. So spry was basically like a Crisco back in the day. Um, so I am just using Crisco, which is vegetable shortening. So next I'm adding in one cup of milk and of course you guys can add in whatever type of milk you would like. Next, I'm gonna be adding in one teaspoon of vanilla and three quarter teaspoon of orange extract. And I've never added this into a coconut cake. I feel like I usually do almond, but the orange made it taste so good and so summery. It was absolutely delicious and made the house smell amazing while it was baking. So the recipe calls to mix this 200 times. It specifically says 200 strokes. So you can do that or you could just take a mixer like I ended up doing and mixing this together. Um, next into this mixture, we're gonna be adding in four egg whites. And after I added in the egg whites, that's when I decided to go back to the modern times and to just take a mixer and mix this together. It does say in the book you can use a mixer at low speed for two minutes, so that's what I ended up doing. So next I am taking the pan that I'm gonna be using and I'm just using one of these little pans that pops out so it makes it super easy. I'm also taking some of that Crisco vegetable shortening and just rubbing it all over, that way the cake does not stick. Now we can pour the cake batter into the pan and this is super exciting because it means we're almost done with the cake which means we're a step closer to eating it. So once I poured it in here, 
I just put this in the oven and I believe it baked for about 20 to 25 minutes. This one might have ended up baking a little bit longer because this was a taller pan. Um, so it probably was more like 30 to 40 minutes, but the book does say 20 to 25. I guess it really just depends on the size pan you have. While that's baking, we can start on the frosting. So I'm doing the vanilla cream frosting and this does have a little bit of orange in it. So it is so delicious with the cake. So the first thing I'm gonna be adding into it is more spry or vegetable shortening. So I'm adding in two tablespoons of that, one tablespoon of butter, one teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and then I'm just blending this together. And um, at the end, I did end up adding in, I believe like a teaspoon or so of orange extract just to bring out some more flavor and it was so good. So now I'm gonna be adding in a total of three cups of confectioner's sugar. And I'm also gonna be adding in five tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. So as uh, frosting recipes go, they're never really exact. You kind of have to keep playing with it, adding a little bit more sugar, adding a little bit more cream until you get the perfect consistency. So that is what I did until I got a consistency that I liked. If you guys ever have played with strawberry shortcake dolls or smelled them, this smells just like orange blossom and angel food cake put together. So if you guys know what those smell like, it smells just like heaven. It smells absolutely amazing. It was reminding me of my childhood. So once the cake is fully cooled, you can pop it out. If you guys notice, there's like a little chunk of cake gone at the top and that's because all of my family came over and they wanted to try it. So I just ripped off a little piece for them, but it's okay because we're cutting the top off anyway. So what I like to do is just layer, or not layer, but actually even out the top of the cake. So I just run the knife through it until the cake at the top is totally flat. That way the frosting goes on more evenly. Next, I'm going to run the knife through the center of the cake. That way we can fill the inside of the cake with frosting and coconut. So I put my cake on my favorite cake stand. This is from Magnolia, which is Chip and Joanna's line of Target. I love Chip and Joanna. It's probably one of my favorite shows. If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, it's Fixer Upper on HGTV. Oh, my voice is cracking. But it is such a great show because we are currently flipping our house, so it's been giving me tons of inspiration. But anyway, what I'm doing right now is taking some frosting and frosting it on this layer. Next, I'm going to sprinkle some coconut in the center. And then, so the top layer sticks back on top of this, I just adding some more frosting to that layer. So now comes the fun part, which is decorating the cake. I decided to just put frosting all over the cake. Um, you guys can obviously pipe frosting on or just do what I'm doing. So I wanted to go for more of a natural kind of look. I didn't want to do anything too fancy, but I wanted it to still look really cute. So I just put frosting all over the cake and then I took the coconut and I put it all around the bottom of the cake or the sides of the cake. And then I also put a little bit of it on the top of the cake, basically just making a circle all the way around. The recipe book actually calls for dyeing the coconut a yellowish orange color and then putting it on and making some designs on top, which I think is super cute. I just feel like I don't really have luck when it comes to dyeing coconut. I feel like it sometimes comes out kind of blotchy or I can't really get the color I want. So since the cake had a hint of orange to it, I decided to take some orange slices and decorate my cake that way. And then I just put a little orange sliver in the center and I think it turned out so cute and so adorable. And cutting into the cake was so satisfying because it just smelled so amazing and it was so good. This cake is a little bit more of a denser cake, which is what my family loves. I personally like a very light cake, but this one was delicious. It tastes so good with some coffee. It's a perfect summer cake to have if you're having friends and family over. 
So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this baking video. It's very nostalgic. Um, if you guys want more of these, let me know. I can definitely do that. I was thinking of making some Marie Antoinette inspired desserts because they're always so beautiful. If you guys would like that video, then just leave a comment in the comment section and I can do that. But hope you guys are all having a lovely day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.